In this video, we're going to take you through the process of installing EndNote on your personal device. So on the Latrobe website, we're going to head to Latrobe Students. We're just going to scroll down under Popular Links and click Help and Support. Then we're just going to click Student IT Support. And you're just going to scroll down on the left hand side of the screen until you see Software Downloads and just click this one. We're just going to drop down Latrobe Software and scroll till we see EndNote. Then we're just going to click on Installation and you'll see three different files. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use EndNote 20. So you click on the file you wish to download. It's going to take you to a system where you can add this to your cart. So if you select Add to Cart, check out and you're just going to scroll down on this page and just enter your contact details so it should just be your first name and your student email address then you're just going to go select download Now the difference between these two is there's one that's an .exe file which is used for Windows computers and there's a .dmg file. Now this is for Mac computers or Macintosh devices. So on this one we're going to download the Windows one. Then we're just going to open the application once it has installed. Now you're just going to select next a fair few times on these screens, accepting terms and conditions and selecting next again. This is just going to run you through a normal installation process for an app. We just have typical settings and then select next. Select next once you've chosen the file destination and then select install. Now that this program has finished installing, you can just select the finish button. And then we're just going to open up the EndNote app. Now with EndNote, it will download the base version, but when you first open it, it's going to require you to update the software. So as you can see, there's an update. We're just going to click download and install. And we're just going to select next a couple more times again. Just getting ready for the update and then it will install the update. And once again, you can select the finish button. And as you can see, EndNote 20 is now on the computer. And if you open up Word, you can see EndNote 20 is listed in Word as well. One more thing to note is that you are able to re-download a copy of EndNote through the same website we saw before, which we'll take you through now, just in case you need it on a new device. So back on this page, if we select add to cart, it's going to come up with an error message saying you've already got one of these copies. But if you select the first click here option and then select view details, you're just going to be taken to the page where you're asked to download and then you can choose the file type you require for your device. We hope this video has been helpful. If you do have any further questions or need support with installing EndNote, please contact us on our details listed below.